Hey, what do you say weekend warriors on today's menu? We're doing grilled steak. I'm gonna show you a really simple but awesome mushroom sauce and we're gonna grill up some asparagus. I'm gonna do it back here on my Napoleon Phantom grill that they were kind enough to send me earlier this year. I really love cooking on it and that's why I wanna show you this recipe. You could do it all right on your grill, but it doesn't matter if you have propane, uh, you could do charcoal grill, it doesn't really matter. Any kind of grill, let's do it. And this recipe was shown to me by a guy named Jim Sweeney. We used to work together in a kitchen back in the late 1990s. He was a great line cook. He had all kinds of really simple uh, recipes that you could throw together without uh, needing much skill. And this is why I want to show it to you guys. It's pretty awesome. So we're going to start with a white onion. Um, you can cut it in slices. You can dice it. it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go with a dice. It's just a rough dice. The reason I like diced is uh, it's not going to be like a big stringy bite of onion. I want the mushrooms to be the star of the show. So get this going. And then same thing with the other half. So we're going to do a whole medium sized onion. And then I'm going to get it started in a pan. We're going to use my side burner of the grill. And this is bacon fat. You could use olive oil, you could even use butter if you want, but I think bacon fat tastes the best. So we'll start with about two tablespoons. And now real quick, we'll throw it over here on my side burner. Let that pan start to heat up and then we'll put the onions in. And then in the meantime, I can start cutting up these mushrooms. And it's pretty easy. I cut the stem off. I do use the stem, so don't panic. And then it's easier to slice these up. And then I'll take the stem, just cut that in half. Okay, one more time, real simple. Cut the stem so it's easier to cut. Lay it flat and just cut it into some thin slices. And I'm using about a pound of mushrooms. And these are baby bellas, but you could use your favorite or whatever is available. And I'm starting to smell bacon, so let's get these onions in real quick. Slide them right in. And I'm just looking to give these a little bit of a head start over the mushrooms. So maybe about four minutes. Let them soften up. And then in the meantime, I can keep uh, cutting up those mushrooms. And I got the mushrooms cut up. That didn't take long. Onions are ready to go. So let's get these mushrooms in. Put them right on top and then I can mix them in. I'm also going to add a little bit more bacon fat. All right. Give these a quick mix. And I'm going to cook these for about four minutes as well. Let them release a little bit of their water. They'll get nice and soft. And this will probably take another four or five minutes. And I'm also gonna get the grill side fired up now. So let's go all four burners. And I'm gonna go on high. We'll get this screaming hot so we can cook the steaks really fast and that asparagus really fast. So we'll close this up, let it preheat. And let's do this asparagus. So the trick is you want to get the woody stem part off of there. The way you do that is just start at the end. You can kind of feel where it's really hard and it'll snap right where it's not uh, woody. So once you have that, you're going to know where to cut the rest of these. 
You don't have to throw out the other end. Uh, you could use those to make like a soup stock, but I typically throw them out. So we got that out of the way. Just push this off to the side. And I'll lay these out all in one row. Tiny bit of olive oil. And I'm gonna roll it around in the oil and this is gonna help our salt and pepper stick. That's all I'm seasoning them with today. A little sprinkle of kosher salt, a little bit of black pepper. And now we're getting ready to finish off the uh, mushroom sauce. So grab your favorite steak sauce. It could be A1. I bought this from my butcher. I try to support local when I can. And you wanna pour one cup of your favorite steak sauce into the mushroom. So let's do that. This is a 12 ounce bottle, so not quite all of it. There we go, I'll leave just enough for another day. Mix it all in. Bring it up to a quick simmer. And now you're gonna add about a half a cup of sour cream. You can start there. You'll notice I'm not measuring anything here today. We're gonna combine this in, turn off the heat. Just make sure we mix this thoroughly. And this is pretty much done. What I love about it, it's, it's store-bought steak sauce. There's nothing special that you have to do. Just pick one that you like. It makes it really simple and it tastes really, really good. Uh, you're gonna impress whoever eats this, I promise. I'll put a lid on it so we can keep it nice and warm while we cook our steaks and asparagus. And speaking of steaks, here we go. Picked up two strip steaks from my local butcher. I'm gonna take just a few drops of olive oil Rub it in on both sides. This will help our seasoning stick and it'll prevent it from sticking to the uh, grill too bad. So we'll do that. A tiny bit of kosher salt. A little bit of uh, black pepper. And then I'll do the same exact thing on this side. And we are ready for the grill. So steaks are gonna go on first. And once the steaks are about halfway cooked, I'm gonna put the asparagus on over here. I like mine medium rare, even a little bit closer to the medium side, but uh, who am I to tell you how to cook your steak? Your house, your rules. So we're gonna let that go for about two minutes, and then I'll uh, give them a quarter turn. Then we'll go two more minutes, and then we'll flip them. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Nice grill marks. So we'll do quarter turn quarter turn and to be honest the grill marks really don't matter we're gonna smother this in the mushroom sauce but it's still fun to do so two more minutes we'll flip them and then we'll get the asparagus on and here we go it's been two more minutes it's good looking crust on that steak I think we're good go ahead and flip Then I'm going to lay the asparagus down, make sure we go across the grates so they don't fall through. And if we lose one or two, no big deal. Just get them spread out so we can get some grill marks on. Alright, it's been another two minutes, so give these a turn. myself a quick temperature check We're sitting at about 130 so I think I'm ready to 
take these off of here. And in the meantime, these are gonna sit on the countertop and rest. Let them cool off just a little bit. And then we'll plate it up. The asparagus probably got about two, three more minutes to go. So it's looking good. All right, are you ready? Let's plate this up. So steak, we've got our asparagus. Could have a lemon wedge or two with the asparagus. And now for the mushroom sauce that smells so good. Let's load that up. Like I said before, you want to completely smother it. All right, enough playing around. Let's eat. I'm starving. Just cut this right down the middle. See how we did. Nice medium to medium rare, just how I like it. go for a bite. Mushroom sauce grilled steak. Oh man is that good. And hey if you guys want to see something else dynamite check out one of those two videos right there. Don't forget to give me a like hit that subscribe button and I'll see you over there. I got to get another piece of this.